morning. Just want to show you guys my skin today. I'm loving it. So what I did yesterday was use my For Real UFO and for the past two days, I have been getting almost breakouts. Do you guys know what I almost breakouts is when you feel like there's a particular area that is kind of sore and it feels like a pimple is going to pop out soon. What I'll do is I'll take my Skin Ink Tri Light Optimizer and I will blast the blue light and I'll just keep going and going of course with a, a water-based serum. If you are not sure what is a water-based serum and if you own the Skin Ink Tri Light, one trick is to just put a drop of serum onto the plate and see if it bubbles and if it does then it is a water-based serum on the entire area with my blue light for like 5 to 10 minutes and it really didn't surface. I'm gonna make some coffee. It's still gonna die. I don't really like to make it like extremely stiff peak, but as long as it's slightly gooey like that, it will stay on top. Actually quite a few times where I actually made it to almost like a foam, like a really like an avocado. A avocado. <laughs> avocado. <laughs> I personally didn't really like it because it took a long time for it to just melt into the milk. For my personal preference, this is the kind of consistency I like. It still has some soft peaks but it doesn't take too long to settle into the drink. No masticata. Oh, so the state of my house, just packing. Now time to continue packing and uh, mailing out grab bags or pay any amount of bags to you guys. So I'll probably see you guys in three hours. <laughs> Bye. Caterpillars that my mother in law has been rearing. Some butterflies laid eggs on some of her plants in her garden, and there they are. It's literally here. And it has a brother. Where's the. What's your brother? Oh, it's here. Ding ding, the green one. It's so fast. Like they were literally this tiny. I can't believe I spent like two full days packing. But it's finally time to work out. I've been wearing my rainbow top from Pomelo. It's quite cute. I've been in talks with my personal trainer, Andrea. And since she's not here, she instructed me what to do and I busked out Matthias's weights. I worked out for about one and a half hours. It's right now 1 a.m. And I'm hungry. But tonight, since it's kind of late, I kind of spent a lot of effort working out so I don't think I want to go for anything too unhealthy. One snack that I really like to eat whenever I feel like, you know, I want to have something filling but something not too unhealthy is oats. So oats is actually really really good for just keeping you full but it doesn't have a lot of calories and it also has a lot of fibers inside. It's my supper for myself. So I'm gonna make that. That's what guys, I think I've been making it wrong the whole time. It says just add hot water. I have been just putting water, like normal regular water and then uh, putting it in the microwave. Just adding hot water might taste nicer because when I put it in the microwave, it's actually really really not nice. It feels very like tough and rubbery. So maybe this method might be better. Doesn't look appetizing at all. <laughs> oh no. Do I just keep stirring or... Maybe I just have to keep stirring. I don't know. Approximately 10 hours later. It's absolutely terrible. <laughs> Am I doing it wrongly? Manuka honey to the rescue. It's like a hundred times nicer. 
Also forgot my multi vites today. I've been taking this one from Holistic Way. It's the Mega Multi Once A Day Health Solutions. Vitamin A, B1, B2, B3, B6, B12, folic acid. A whole bunch of like good stuff. And all I need to do is just take once a day which is amazing because I'm someone that really needs a lot of discipline when it comes to taking things regularly. It's like the best bit of my eye, it's like huge. For those of you who have problems with pills, this might be a little bit too intimidating for you. So it might be better to start with like um, supplements like this. This one is from the brand Oli and these are actually gummy supplements. To be honest, they taste too good to be true. It's supposed to just give you like results after a long 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 time of usage. They literally smell like blueberries, like so nice. I feel like I'm just eating sweets. Alright, I probably should go and shower and try to sleep um, early. See you guys tomorrow! Morning. So today, I filmed uh, some videos for an upcoming YouTube video today. Applying my sunscreen because sunscreen is so important. So this is the La Roche Posay one. Really like it. Lately, I haven't been able to get much sleep. I don't know why, but I've been sleeping extremely late. It could be because I've been using social media like way too much. Watching Netflix way too much. Or it could simply be I'm not actually finding enough things to do that can expand my energy like how I used to before um, COVID. I'm so tired. Like my eyes are tired from watching all these shows and looking at screens. But I just can't seem to fall asleep because I have been sleeping at like 4 or 5 a.m. Sometimes I do let myself sleep to 12 noon to just clock in that 8 hours of sleep that my body needs and since I don't have much to do anyway you know I can't afford to do that but I want to like be more productive and I want to wake up like earlier at like 8 or 9 just like how I used to let me know if you have any remedies or solutions I asked on Instagram and a lot of you guys came to me with um, some suggestions planning to just incorporate them and try them out today one is to not use your phone one hour before you sleep and instead of looking at your screens look at read books or read some sort of um, hard material instead of looking at screens. Drink a cup of warm chamomile tea before you sleep. Drink warm milk. Put something lavender-ish like around you so it could be lavender oil on your pillowcase or like a lavender candle. So far the tips that I've gotten from you guys so uh, I'm gonna see how this goes. It's time to get ready because I've got a ton of things that I want to shoot today so let's go. Thank you. It smells so good. Coffee beans from Marks and Spencer, so good. It smells very like chocolatey. That was a pretty rough shoot day. Well now, I gotta go out and faster quickly send my emails because it's a Friday and it's almost 6 so let's go. Okay, right now it's 12.15. Planning to make myself a cup of chamomile tea or a cup of warm milk. So hopefully I have either one of the two.
which means good morning everybody. Pretty good mood today because I managed to sleep quite a bit. I slept quite well. In the past, I used to take about 2-3 to three hours to sleep every night but I think last night I took about 1 hour which is a pretty good milestone, I guess. Your tips and advice really work. Thank you so much everybody. And uh, I think the chamomile tea also helped. Finally getting my souffle omelette done. I have been procrastinating for the longest time. We're gonna make it today. Pupu, can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? Help me. Whoa, guys. Look at that. I think it's a bit too fluffy. It's still yummy. So I'll fluff down the egg white a little bit more. What are you guys doing on a Saturday? Um, I'm packing my beauty room. It is in a huge mess. I'm not gonna show you guys because I'm so embarrassed. Right now, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee because I can't function no more. I found oh, yeah. these in the fridge. They're like pebbles. Mmm. That's so yum. It's many hours later. We've had our dinner did a lot of packing did a lot of filming and tonight's dinner was actually really nice it's from 333 kitchen curry fish head some kang kong salted egg prawns uh, pai gu wang all of my favorite zicha things and i'm so happy that i'm still able to eat zicha even at home so yes computer screen and I don't know what is he watching he dug out his old comp and he's looking at his old SMU presentations are you thinking wow I was so smart back then I was so nice and handsome I would buy my girlfriend bubble tea and send her home and send her to school every day <laughs> Where did that nice Matthias go? Where did that nice Mongqing go? No, Matthias! Correct. You did! So I just ended off my workout with my foam roller. Another goal that I'm setting for myself this entire circuit breaker is to be able to foam roll, roll out my tight muscles uh, as much as I can. To be honest, these look very harmless but they're extremely painful and it's a lot of discipline to do especially if you have very very tight muscles. They're actually really good at loosening your muscles and that way you can kind of like maximize your workouts uh, a lot better. Honestly, it's so time consuming and it's really painful so <laughs> I don't really have a lot of discipline to want to do it and that is what I'm forcing myself to do. 
So these are your quads and I'm extremely tight back um, on my quads and they're super painful. Like the front part of my quads, so painful. Another area that I really want to um, focus on rolling out more are my traps. So I have I've got really really bad shoulder aches and as a result my traps are also very very like kind of swollen they're much better now properly training with you know the help of my personal trainer uh, and of course I even did things like acupuncture to just solve my rounded shoulder problem for those of you who face the same problem hopefully it will be of some help to you it's now 1 a.m. I gotta wake up for church live streaming tomorrow and Korean class which I haven't studied for my spelling <gasps> so screwed I think this will be the end of today's vlog I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy spending lots of time with your family and loved ones and if you aren't uh, I hope you're still happy and well by yourself and just finding some normalcy amidst this very very weird time we're all in this together I'll see you in my next one bye good night <laughs>